Welcome to Drawn Into Stories. We get videos from different authors and illustrators and they tell us how to create our own stories and how they became authors and illustrators and what their ideas are from. We basically learn how to draw new things and different things every week. The best bit has been learning um, how to draw and bring your characters to life, all the workshops that we've done. I think it's just been a really good time. So we're at City Academy Whitehawk and I'm Miss Briggs. This project has been amazing for the children. They've got to watch videos each week of different authors and illustrators um, who have been addressing them directly, um, getting them to do loads of little um, activities to come up with stories and characters um, and really help them with their own writing. Children in my class typically love reading. We have a really good reading culture here. However, some children, when it gets to their own reading, can sometimes struggle with stamina to get through big chapter books. Whereas this project has really shown children that it doesn't matter what age you are, there is a picture book for everyone. Sometimes children can really struggle for ideas and imagination, so getting them to start with a little picture or a few shapes or even a scribble to come up with like little characters. They can picture those stories much better in their heads and then their writing outcomes are so much better. And they're generally just like much more excited and there's a buzz about writing, which is really lovely. My favourite part was the scribble monsters. We scribbled on our books, swapped books with the person next to us, and we tried to make something out of our friend's scribbles. This this is what my partner drew, um, and I had to like describe it, they got to name it. And it protects children, but also eats spiders. I like that we could use our imagination to make something alive. My favorite activity of drawing was the one we did. The pig one was one of my favorites. She's like quite an angry person and she's like, just like think of like someone, ha just think of yourself as being angry. So this this is what I came up with with Madame the Pig. I had two favourite parts, but um, one of them was the Scribble Monsters and one of them was um, Margie's workshop. We started with um, some shapes next to each other, like diagonal and maybe some on top of each other. And then um, we had to like add hair and stuff and like make it as a character. You can make your own story or speak and sort them so see what they say. It kind of like helped because I would just like draw like random shapes and then he taught us how to put like shapes into like a character. I think I would choose this one to come to life. I got the idea of Chef Felix from my cat and I did a little differences to make him a chef. I created this character which is really cool. And then you got to say stuff about it and what it likes to do. Really cool. So I'm Michelle Marker, I'm year four teacher at St John the Baptist School. Well the impact's been really that they've just become a bit more kind of familiar with the workings of a book, how a book is actually produced and I think that's really lovely for the children to get that a person has written this with them in mind. They're um, year four class and they're so enthusiastic, especially going to the libraries. They want to change their books so much more regularly. I feel that they've opened up an idea of the different types of stories written by the different types of people that they've been introduced to. If I was going to go to a library, then I would um, borrow um, a book like I did with Pom Pom. I would uh, look at the pictures and I'd draw it and then I would like read the story and then I'll, re and then I'll try and rewrite my own story. What really they latched onto um, was to create their own little character and to build a story around that character. So I think it's given the child a chance to revisit that same character further down the line. It sort of like gets me to read different genres and it's like um, made my love of reading greater. Sometimes I, I struggle to like think of what to write about characters and like settings. And that's where that really helped me. I improved my drawings and writing and I read more books. It helped me come up with new things to draw and to create. Before I thought you could only like read picture books at a young age, but now I like, I like reading picture books. And it was lovely to remind the children that this is how books are written and anyone can do it with some imagination and determination and perseverance. I think it's really sparked their imagination too.